Hello, this video is going to cover how to place an OCO bracket order on an option trade. Um, and, and we're going to show you how to place this order based on a percentage of the price that you're paying for and also how to do it while you place the order for the actual option. And an OCO order is a one cancels other order. And what that means is when you place this order, um, you're placing two orders, essentially a limit order and a stop order and whichever one gets filled first it will cancel the other one automatically and what that does it's great for people who only trade at night and have day jobs you can place a stop order and a limit order so if you hit your target you, you capture profit and you're out or uh, if you hit your stop you're also out and it, it will cancel the limit order so we're gonna do this trade on the S&P 500 the SPY I'm not necessarily you know I'm definitely not recommending this trade I'm just using this as a, uh, an example. So we go to the trade tab. And in our uh, market timing service, we typically go with a 70% delta in the money option. So let's just go ahead and do that now. And typically when you go to buy the option, you would do what I just did. You would just left click and just hit buy. Uh, to do the OCO bracket though, while you order it, you would right click and choose buy custom and then choose with OCO bracket. And what that's going to do is bring up three orders. You're going to have your order for the put, um, you're going to have your order for the limit order, and you're going to have a stop order. And then now you have to set these parameters to, to what you want. Um, so that we get filled right away, I'm going to change this to a market order so that we're filled automatically with the, uh, with the 125 put that we're buying. Um, and the, in the market timing service, we would typically go with a 60% limit. So if we if we make 60% in profit, we would close out of the trade. Um, and then also a 30% stop. So if we lost 30%, we would close out of the trade. So let's, uh, for the demo, we're just gonna do a 1% um, gain, 1% loss so that we get stopped out. We wanna get stopped out or, or limited out right away so that we can see how this works from start to finish. So we're gonna, change this instead of manual we're going to change it to trigger for both of them and we're going to click on the little box till you see percentage and like I said you could change this to whatever percentages you want in the MTS we use 60 and 30 but here we're going to stick to the 1 and 1% 1 so that we get stopped out also um, you know we're going to just do a day order for now but if you want this this order to maintain for a couple days you would have to choose this to GTC which we can do now um, so that's it we have our order we have our limit order set our stop order set let's go ahead and confirm and send you can see the three orders there and we should get filled pretty quick there we go now let's switch over to the monitor tab and up in the working orders you can see we have our um, stop order here and our limit order. This is the current price, which is eight eight fifty, and down here we paid eight fifty, so we're pretty much even still. And uh, so now what we're waiting for is either this to gain in price up to eight fifty nine, and then this will trigger an order to try and sell it at eight fifty nine, or a loss down to eight forty two. So this may take a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna I may pause the video until this fills, and then we come back. We'll examine the trade and how. Um, uh, after we're closed out, we'll examine how uh, how it canceled the other order. All right, so we got filled. Let's see what happened. We're going to look in our little message center um, to see what we got filled at. So you can see we bought the um, where is it? SPY October 125 put for eight dollars and fifty cents. Uh, this is saying that that order was filled. Uh, the next line is we sold it for eight fifty nine, so we hit our limit order, which was one percent higher, so we we captured some profit, and then it canceled the stop order, which was at eight forty two, and this is saying that our limit order got hit. So. That's the basics of this. Um, this can be set on stocks, ETFs. You can base it off percentages like we did, or you can base it on actual dollar amounts um, that, that you're looking at. Hopefully this helps. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks.